guys and girls and welcome back to part two of the front end build part. It could well turn into three parts. I hope it doesn't but it may well do. In this video we're going to be fitting all of the lights. So I'm going to be wiring in the headlights, I'm going to be fitting the DRL lights and I'm going to be sorting out the fog light wiring. I won't I may not be fitting any exterior parts, but we're going to try and get all the wiring done, which could take a little bit of time. This is Tom, this is T-Dubs. Welcome back to the Blue Build. So let's check out the wiring and the looms that you get with the headlights. So all of this kit, all of this stuff you're going to see me fit in the videos, has come from Travelling Light. Um, yes, you can source stuff individually from other places, uh, but the stuff you get from Travelling Light, I guess I know it works, I know it fits. Um, I fitted a lot of stuff on my previous van from them, and I didn't have any, any, any issues with it. So, there are two methods you can do to fit the headlights. Now, you can run it from the fuse box, which is in here. You can power the lights from the fuse box. Or you can power them from the switch inside, the 12 volt, I think it's number one. I think it's pin, I'll show you in a bit, but I think it's pin one uh, and it's yellow and black or black and yellow, one of the two, but I'll show you in a moment. Um, I'm going to probably power mine from the switch so not from here because I want my DRL light bars to power from the fuse box yeah so we're gonna do that if it then turns out that it doesn't power the way I want it to then I'll have to transfer it round and switch it all up which shouldn't be an issue because I'm only gonna do the lighting first and then add the bits and pieces because you've got to put the lights in before you can put bumpers on. So we're going to get all the loom fitted nicely. Uh, so in the kit for the headlights you get the two converter um, I suppose looms. <laughs> so there's one for each side. You also get this uh, which then allows you to run the DRL part of the headlight if the headlight's got the DRLs. And then you get a fuse and things like that and little piggy banks and stuff like that in here if you're running from that fuse box or if you are running from inside. So we're going to get this loom fitted into the existing loom. Um, I will explain the process, show you the process-ish, um, and then go from there. So what I'm going to do is unravel this and see how long it is. And it is pretty long. So that is the part that is going to go into the van. That is going to go into my right hand side head unit. Head unit? <laughs> right hand side loom for the headlight. And that is going to go into my left hand side loom for the headlight. Let's show you where it goes. So it's all quite handy. Now I'm going to reposition this loom. I'm not happy with where it was. Um, but this is your uh, my right hand side, left hand side light, should I say. Uh, you're going to want to remove the purple kind of safety clip inside there. Okay. And in the back side, so if I come around here, so I know you can see what I'm doing. Uh, number two has got a little green bung in it. I'm going to take that out because I'm going to want my yellow number two to go into there. So let's take this little bung out. Lovely little tool I'm using. Not, but that's somewhere safe because I may well need that at some point. I'm going to need that purple bit to put back in. Right, so this little bad boy. So you can see that's like the um, little bung bit that I've taken out. It's already got one on. 
So I'm just going to pop this in here. Make sure it goes in. Try and get it in the right way, it's probably a good shout. Makes a little tiny click. And then I'm going to push the bung inside just so it's kind of like a water sealy type thing. Make sure that's gone nice and deep in there, isn't it? And then I'm going to pop the purple bit. It is purple, yeah. I'm going to pop the purple bit back in and then use my little tool to pop it in. Okay, what I'm going to do now is just hmm, add some electrical tape to this first bit, but I'm going to have to look to rem replace in this loom. So I'm going to move the loom where I'd like it to sit, and then I'll show you what I've done, and we'll move on to fit in the next part of the yellow cable. So the same principle applies to this part of the loom um, too. So we need to pop the purple clip out just like that this into number two there we go and then I'm just gonna try and squeeze uh, this kind of blue uh, water seal in as much as I can so what I've got so far just so you're all in the in the know the yellow lead is now plugged into number two on this side runs down and under it's going to go underneath the slam panel across the top it can't join the existing loom which runs down and round uh, because it's not quite long enough so it's going to run along the top it now plugs into number two on this side and then this part of the cable I'm going to feed from my main switch inside the van. I've taken off this panel here, which is two torque screws. There's one underneath here and one underneath here. Um, torque's 30, I think. And there's a small grommet there. So I'm just going to make a little hole in that and then I'm going to be able to poke that through. But before I do that, I need to make a hole in this panel, put a grommet on it so that I can slide it through that and then into the van. Okay, hole and grommet. Now I'm just going to puncture a hole right in the middle of that. And just make it a bit bigger. And then I'm going to try and poke this through. Ace. Okay, that's that bit done. Now I know um, that the fogs have to come through there too. So we're going to look at fitting the fogs and getting that bit so we can actually close all this off and secure it back in place so we know that's done and then we can connect up the headlights. So again, this is the kit supplied by Travelling Light. It's got its own little relay, a few connections, that's the actual like leads you need to power the cables, left and right, although they're both in the same so it doesn't matter, you can't get them wrong. Uh, your earth lead, your power lead, and this is like your main lead. So this needs to plug into the actual module you've got. So it goes into your main module, so this plugs into number 8, and this, this supply feeds off number 15 which is the big red wire okay so we're going to get those connected up and then we're going to look at threading the cables through connecting this so then we can finish off on the engine bay area in a sec so i've brought you right in here so you can see what's going on so this one's got going to number eight um they are numbered you will find them numbered and i've just got to check which way it goes in make sure it goes right in so that's in there uh, this one now needs to feed off the main red wire which is number 15 if you like your numbers it's probably the easiest option 
Right, so that's the power and everything like that. We're going to earth that in a mow. Uh, you can see just in there, I'm going to take... Um, let's have a look. Yeah, I'm going to take this bolt out here and then just re-bolt it back in with the earth on. And I'm going to mount this, like I did in my previous fog light video, on here. Uh, you get a little... Um, what a uh, bolt and nut just to pop that on there right anyway we need to thread the cables through into the van so we can get all this connected up so this is the end of the loom that's got to go back into the van so what we're going to do is drill a hole in here that is big enough to get all of this through and then we're going to put a grommet on there and then the grommet inside you can see the big box and it's the little round one to the left of that. Um, now I've taken a Stanley blade and I've just cut like a star into it. Um, so I don't have to remove it. I can just thread the cable through. So I'm gonna start threading all of the cables through. So the yellow wire for the headlights and the blue and the white wires for the fog lamps. Okay, so we're back in here. Uh, all of my cables are thread through. And um, what I'm gonna do first is connect the headlamp switch. Now the headlamp for the DRLs and the headlights needs to connect to either one or two. Uh, I'm going to go with one and again you use one of these blue um, posi taps that you get in the kit. So that is in. So looks a bit jubbly blue blue but she's in and she's working. Right, I say working, we haven't checked it yet. Uh, that's a fuse for the fog lights. Right, so we'll finish up with the headlights, we'll get them connected quickly, and then we can move on to sorting these parts of the fogs out, connecting these two blue to the two blue, and then earthing both parts. So we're gonna start with the passenger side. They line up with the old existing clips on the side. Pop that in, and they line up with the old bolts holes on the top two. Just going to check we've got nothing caught underneath. It's good, and going to plug them in. Get the driver's side one on. So again, side first. Just plug that in. I'm gonna drop the new mounts through the top. And just get them gently up. By hand for now, I will tighten these up in a minute. Headlights fitted in. Very nice. So I have connected the earth up and I've connected the fog light cables. That's that done. Just a reminder on the back of the headlight switch, which I'll just feed out here. The yellow goes to either number one or two. I've, con I've connected mine to number one. The red light feed or the red cable feed for the fogs goes into number eight. And the main red feed goes to number 15. So I'm just gonna literally, for the purpose of this video, 
tuck that back in there and then put my side panel back in for now. Let's go and check them out. Now we're going to sort out the wiring for the DRLs. So the first thing we're going to do is pick a mounting point for the uh, canvas unit that comes with it. I'm going to pop it on the side there. This is a removable panel. We're going to need to access the uh, fuse box in a moment anyway, so I'll just take that out. Um, but I'm going to mount the panel up on this side going I'll bring you in close up I'll get my face out of the picture and I'll start connecting things up let's go for it first thing we're going to do is mount the CAN bus in so this is the DRL CAN bus unit this basically tells everything what to do um, I'm going to mount that on the side here at the top and I'm going to sort these cables out and then I'll show you what it looks like when I've done it a CAN bus unit on there. Uh, right, so what we're going to need to do now is do the rest of the wiring. So the yellow wire posi taps to number six on your existing loom. So not the new loom, the existing loom, and then the new loom, and that will just switch it over where it needs to go anyway. Okay, for the red wire, we're going to have to tap into the fuse box. So, I'm just going to tuck that down there. I'm going to move your camera around and I'm going to show you what is up. Okay, I'm just going to talk you through the wiring. So, what you need to do is drill yourself a 10mm hole in the top of the fuse box. Let's pop this open. Wires are everywhere. Why wouldn't you move? Ah, pulled that out. Let's pull that for a little bit more. Okay, so as you can see in the top there, it's quite handy it's come out. So this fuse needs to replace the one that's at the top here, number one. And you need to replace the uh, fuses into the top of that. Uh, they're both fives, so let's close this up. Okie dokie. So, um, the red goes to the red, and you get like a piggy connector, I think, obviously like the male and female, uh, and they run all the way around the battery, and I've got my fuse is just down here so obviously they fused as well and then the yellow runs all the way around and plugs into number six on the lights and there's my DRL CAN bus um, module I suppose and it's earthed onto the earth side of the battery the loom itself let me just pop things back in place as I go so the loom itself runs down behind there and pops out down the bottom here so it then splits off two sides so we've got this one this side and the fog this side and then over this side oh yeah we've got this one and obviously the fog this side too say this but there is going to be a part three to this episode of the blue build 
blue five. But the lights are in. They're looking pretty cool. The fogs work, the DRLs work. Although I didn't show you the DRLs being plugged in. Um, you'll have to wait for the next video. This is Tom, this is T-Dubs. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and stay tuned for part three.